Yo, coach, what's going on? Hope everything's going good today. I'll move me and my up there. And so we'll zoom in. Yeah. All right. So why? Why not add learn to swim? Why haven't you done it? If you have a water polo program, if you have an artistic swimming program, if you have a swimming program, why? Why? Think about it. Why haven't you added learn to swim to your program? Okay. That's enough time. You, you should have zero excuses, okay? Because it is the easiest way to make money in aquatics. Why? Because every parent, every single one in the entire world wants their kid to know how to swim. I've never met one that's like, nah, my kid, no, let them drown. They'll be fine. No, they want them to be safe. You can provide that skill at a cost, at a nice high cost because that is your feeder, okay? You can provide it at a very high cost because everyone wants to learn how to swim, okay? And we'll talk about in future videos how that is your funnel. Just like there's funnels for everything else, that is your athlete funnel. You can create your own athlete funnel, okay? So a couple things. Easiest way to make money because you can do, you can charge, I've seen upwards to $45 for a 30 minute lesson which can be pretty nuts, okay? And, you know, you can do, crank those out, do two lessons, that's $90 an hour. You know, that's some good money, $90 an hour. You can make more doing other things, but just straight swim lessons. You don't have to do them either. You can have younger kids do them and other people do them, and you can be in charge of setting them up. You don't have to do them personally. You can do ones personally and charge more, which I would do, charge a lot more because you're the expert, okay? So more kids need to know how to swim in general, and you're here to do it. And you should, be, you should be providing that. We need more kids helping them learn how to swim. If you're not providing it and you are in the aquatics business, that is a money loss that you have, okay? Best ways to do this is one-on-one -on -one because they learn faster. You can do it in groups of two, okay? Usually if they have siblings and they're close in age, you can do it in group of two as long as they don't mess with each other. You can even go in group of three, okay? But after three, you get some kids, depending on where you're at, hopefully you're in four feet or under. You don't want, you want to do learn to swim in four feet or under, okay? So that kid goes down, right? They can bounce back off the water where you can grab them, all right? You can transition to deep water once you feel comfortable, but not with more than three because you have to keep track of those three, right? And use only so many hands. And during a 30-minute lesson, you know, hopefully they're getting more than 10 minutes out of it. You're getting more value than 10 minutes with three kids. You can kind of do a lot of things at the same time. So three is the max. One is best. Two is second best. Okay. Certification. Do you need to be certified to teach some lessons? Absolutely not. You just have to have your insurance in place and they have to register and make sure they're insured with the insurance and you have coverage. But there's no reason you need to be certified. Who, who's certifying the certified? I mean, you can go get certified and it can boost your ability to look like you know what you're doing, or you can just do what you do and teach kids how to swim efficiently and fast and in a short amount of time. And that is your own certification, right? You just made it yourself. What do you need to be certified for? You are the boss. You know what you need to do. Okay. Add learn to swim to your program right away. Do it now. I'm putting a mission on you to do it now. And if you need help, learning how to do that, how to set it up, text me and I'll help you figure it out.